Hello everybody, and this is, finally, you've all asked for it, me and Ethan's review of Endgame. And it was um, an experience. Yeah, it was an experience for the years. Guys, as we talk about this, there will be images on screen and everything referring to what we're talking about. But let's get right to the film review. So, let's start off with Ethan. Give us your first experience of this film. So, no, don't, I'll do it. So, we went in, why? We went and saw it Thursday, when it launched Thursday, exactly 8.30pm. We went in. It didn't we, launch Thursday, it launched Wednesday. And we saw it. And then we also went to see it again in iSense. Which was a mistake. So, we're going to be talking about the iSense experience, because obviously Cineworld in Pool... Let it down again. I don't know if any of you have been to Cineworld in Pool, but it is trash, guys. It's just such a trash place, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. But, so, we're going to be talking about the iSense experience, and that was, like, the peak of cinema experiences, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of problems with Endgame. And I just didn't really think that much of it. Now, we are going to go into detail about each segment, each minute in the film, and break down every single bit. But I didn't enjoy the film. Well, no, I did enjoy the film, but it's no it nowhere... afterwards. Yeah, it was afterwards when it, like, when the denial hit you. Yeah. Because, like, when I saw it the second time, I literally fell asleep in the <sighs> film because it was so boring. Like, Ethan Yawn and then. Because the film was so boring, guys, I nearly fell asleep in it. So, Ethan, give us your, like, just talk. Talk about it. What do you think? It was good. Throughout, every single bit was solid and amazing. That's jokes. The film was awful. So, JK1000? It, it just went on for too long. Every scene felt like for some reason, it was just longer for no reason at all. I agree. The time travel was a bit dumb. Then they killed off um, Black Scarlet, or whatever her name is. And Black then, Widow. Um, that's it, yeah. And but then, that wasn't a bad fit. Yeah, Black but Widow. then Captain America returned the stone at the end, which means she would come back alive. No, no, it's yes. different. It's different. Because if the soul stone's Cat's back, then there doesn't need to be a soul to keep the soul stone away. That's not how it works. Yes, it is. But... Anyway, that's not... The soul stone works. You have to sacrifice the soul to get the stone. Yeah, but when you put it back, you don't have to sacrifice the soul Time anymore. doesn't apply to that. It's different in that in that realm. It's different. <laughs> but, yeah, I just didn't appreciate the time travelling. Yeah, like, no, no. when when I went to watch, watch the film a second time, I literally... I was just on the chair. I was like, hey. Oh! The most boring bit of the film is when Tony Stark meets his dad and it, that scene goes on for 20 oh. minutes. It's just so boring. It's pointless, isn't it? Yeah, it's the most boring thing ever. Ugh, disgusting. It's like none of the scenes needed to happen, like, in, in the time travel. Like, I've been speaking... Because you leave the film and you're like, whoa, like that. Like, it's amazing. You're you're excited. You're Carl Gass project about it. But then you get out of the film and you then you kind of think about it and you're just like... You just don't... You just think and go, what did I just watch? Because none of the scenes compare up to Infinity War, guys. So none of the scenes at all compare up to... So the final battle. No, we need to start from the beginning, don't we? So the beginning of the film is really good. Like the first 20 minutes, they're all there. The Avengers are together. Then Brie Larson appears and ruins it. She's a terrible actor and nobody likes her. And then that whole bit is quite cool. And then it's just like... It's just like that meme, isn't it? Nobody. Thanos cuts off... No, sorry. No, why was Thanos cut off... Nobody. Thor. Cuts off Thanos' head. Why is that... Well, I don't understand. Why Why is that... would that be a meme? That is... You know when it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it doesn't make sense. Nobody. Yeah, but Thor just cut off his head yeah, for no reason. Makes sense. He, does, he did cut off his head for a reason. No, he, he did. destroyed the whole planet. You don't get memes. But anyway, it's true that I just don't get why he did that. Like, for no reason, just cut off his head. What was that going to achieve? To kill him. So that was kind of a bit of a plot hole for me. Like, you wouldn't just yob off his head. You're the only person who knows anything about the stones. And then, but I I enjoyed that segment. I enjoyed that segment of, like, the film of, like, the lead-up and everything. And then 
this is the issue. A rat. What's wrong with you? <laughs> normally, <laughs> a rat was the was basically the only force that could stop Thanos. Who's Thanos? Was a, was a rat. Because the rat walked over the thing. Dead classes. But then you've got to think about it. The only reason that the rat walked over that was because Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange said that was going to happen. Do you know what I mean? So that can count react. Doctor Strange knew the rat was going to walk over at that time. That's why he gave Thanos the stone. But um, okay, then. And then you get to that whole middle part. And this is where the issue lies a little bit with just the time travelling. Because it's all a bit of a gimmick. Any film that incorporates time travelling just shouldn't be a thing. Because it, it just makes like everything redundant. And when films start to time travel, everything becomes pointless. Don't you agree? Yes. Because the whole of Infinity War, no point watching it. Well, there is because it's a good film. Or a good in, character for Milton Thanos. Yeah, in, the, in, Infinity War is better. It is a better film. They ruined Thanos in this film. Yeah, they just made an old man sat on the farm. No, not that. Uh, after. Like, he does things for a reason. This one, he was like, I'm going to kill all you. Yeah, but he, he was younger, wasn't he? He was a bit more stupid. But the problem is, the the power didn't make sense. How Thanos could take everybody on. He was a bit younger, though, wasn't he? And a bit more stupid. And then, without the glove, he, he won. He was able to take everybody on without the glove. But when he had the glove on, he couldn't beat him. And Iron Man made him bleed. That's what I don't get. Well, that's a drop of blood. So, I just didn't appreciate that. And as we were talking about the time travel, the whole time travelling bit. Hey! Ding, 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 ding. We, we should make this TikTok famous, Ethan. No. Why? TikTok's dead. Guys, like this video if you want. <laughs> like this video if you want Barry Bear to create a TikTok account. Anyway, back to the review. So, the problem with the review, no, the problem with the film was that um, the time travelling basically ruined it. And I didn't like it compared to Infinity War. I thought Infinity War was a, was a lot better. So did I. And the, the battle scene at the end just was nowhere near as good. Guys, like this video if you want him to make a TikTok. The, um, the battle at the end was nowhere near as good. As Infinity no, War. No, the battle at the end was better than Infinity no, War. No, it wasn't. That's the only good thing. Yeah. No, nowhere near. It With was all the females coming into action and Brie Larson, one of the best actors. Like, if you put her and like a wet flannel together, the wet flannel would outact her <laughs> by miles. <laughs> that is true. Brie Larson is an absolutely terrible actor and she was not good for the role of Captain Marvel. I could have played Captain Marvel better. Better. Maybe. But, um,. Yeah, it's just, it all seemed a little bit, you know, I left the cinema and I wasn't that, I wasn't that gassed up than I was when we went, you know, when we went to see Infinity War. I was gassed up. Infinity you War was, noise uh, was, you was a lot, gassed up. What do you mean weird noises? You're going, <laughs> every time when, for, when Chris Evans picked up the hammer, you were like, <laughs> I never did that. Yes, you did. When? You went, <laughs> the first time. When the hammer goes back and it was Chris Evans. One thing that I'd like to point out, that's the cringiest thing I ever hear, is when people clap. Yeah, we don't <laughs> do that here. We don't do that here. It's just like, it's at the end of a film and everybody's clapping. It's so dumb. But yeah, I just didn't think any of the film matched up to um, Infinity War at all. The 100,000th Liker gets this. Marvel Wallet. But yeah, but I just didn't... Back to the review, we've gone off subject. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't think... Woo! I didn't think that anything... It just wasn't as good. And it was a bit of a letdown. But I was just hoping that... Yeah, no, Infinity War is just so much better. <laughs> Guys, I want you to comment down below and let me know what you think. What film did you prefer? What film would you rather... See or watch again. I've seen. I would rather watch Sonic than uh, Endgame. I've seen. Yeah, actually, let's just change to talk about Sonic. D honestly, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen, isn't it? Yeah. But I was more. I'm more excited to watch Sonic than Endgame ever again. 
Like, I do not ever want to watch Endgame again, if I can help it. Is director's cut. No, not even then. Because I'm going to skip the middle bit. No, so, uh, yeah. Cut, no. The fight scene's 45 minutes longer than director's yeah, cut. Yeah, skip the middle bit. So what I don't understand is, the Russo brothers said the fight scene's 45 minutes long in the director's cut. So why didn't they just delete the bit with him and his dad yeah. fucking around? No. Oops, faffing around. And... um like got Tourette's or something. And get rid of the bit of Captain America just stares at um, Peggy Wilson for like 20 minutes. Peggy Carter or whatever her name is. But yeah, we, we just wanted... Um... <laughs> we just wanted... Oh, it, it just didn't give as much as Infinity War did to me. And that's what annoyed me. So guys, you might think differently. Um, and I want you to comment down below, what did you prefer? But just to round the film up, I don't think this was anywhere near as exciting as Endgame was. Uh, sorry, as Infinity War was. The fight scenes were better in Infinity War. The character development was better in Infinity War. Every single thing that happened was so much better in Infinity War. So, Ethan, what do you think? What film did you prefer? I thought Infinity War because Thanos was just so good in that. In this one, they just ruined Thanos, who was just a typical Fantastic Four villain. Yeah, no, he was. He was just a bit, it was a bit pointless, wasn't it? Yeah, the fight scene at the end was incredible when they all came back, and then that cringy Falcon bloke was like on your left. That ruined the whole film for me. No, I like that bit because that's one of my favourite bits of Captain America. What when a, a man's running and said on your left? Yeah, Marvel, yeah. Captain America has that bit. So, um, also, I forgot what I was going to say, so don't worry about it. And yeah, Sonic, Ethan. Are you excited to see Sonic? Yes. We need to talk about it a little bit so I can put it in the title. Yeah. Yep. I'm excited. And what annoys me is these whiny people like, Sonic doesn't look right. And now they've got the whole studio to re- remake him, which is disgusting. You guys are hypocritical. Hypocritical. Hip- hypocritical. <laughs> but yeah, guys. I hope now you... it's going to be not very good because they're not going to waste their money on remaking him, which you forced them to do. So they're not going to do that. What do you mean? Well, I'm not going to put any effort into him this time around. Because they've already spent all their money put, making him like what he looks like. And he's in every single scene of the film. So they're going to have to remake every single scene of the film. Remap his mouth and remap his CGI and everything like that. It's ridiculous. But anyway, Jim Carrey as Dr. Eggman has got me hyped. Man. Up. Yeah. It, it, Jim Carrey should be good this film. I look forward to Jim Carrey. Oh, so let's give a random random thumbs up yeah and then we'll end the video guys this went completely off subject and was just nothing to do with anything really but thank you all for watching make sure to subscribe check out my tiktok guys link in description there'll be a new one of him later and we'll see you all soon subscribe <laughs>